The Premier of the Eastern Cape, uh, Pumulo Maswale, will be delivering his 2019 State of the Province address at the Eastern Cape Provincial Legislature in Bisho this morning. Uh, we tried earlier on, but let's go back live to Busisiwe, James Mantashe. Busisiwe? A very good morning and indeed any minute now the Premier and the Executive will walk to make their way to the Provincial Legislature where he's expected to make uh, deliver his speech. This is the fifth uh, state of the province address that he will be delivering since he took office in 2014. He will be tabling the speech uh, at a very difficult time where the country at large is experiencing economic difficulties and the Eastern Cape is no different and in fact, this province is one of the poorest provinces uh, in the country. But I'm joined by the Speaker of the Provincial Legislature, Umam Nokolo Kivit, uh, to talk to us about what we can expect today. And uh, the Premier delivers the speech at a time where the economy is going left. Uh, what would be important in his speech that he says that will give hope to the people of this province? Um, what? becomes important uh, to the people of this province is job creation, is our focus on education, is ensuring that we do best what we know best. And we pay particular focus on untapped uh, oceans economy because we are advantaged in terms of the location of the province. We are right at the foot of the continent. We have a harbour in Port, Liz in Port Elizabeth, um, the, the Mucha port, which is a deep water port, yet we have untapped coastal um, line, which covers stretches more than 800 kilometers. Uh, if we could uh, pay particular focus there, there's untapped potential, which I believe um, can contribute a lot in terms of the province uh, job creation efforts. But more than that, uh, the oil uh, explorations and, and um, those uh, kind of uh, big projects that the pro province has potential for, your, your, your um, Tombo project in Port Elizabeth, because your Mzimfu project, uh, uh, water <laughs> scheme <laughs> in uh, the part of the eastern part of the province. Those huge projects can and has, have the ability to dent um, the unemployment uh, rate uh, in, 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 a, in a big way. So ours is to, as a province, assist each other, work together uh, in ensuring that we contribute to growing uh, the economy of the country through our own efforts as a province. Um, but also focus on education. Uh, this has been a province with a lot of uh, historical um, missionary schools. Uh, it has been, one could say it had been the capital of education. Uh, if we push, as we have done as the legislature, in ensuring that our, we change our oversight approach, we stopped uh, focusing on education portfolio committee. Now education is a parliamentary matter. It's a parliamentary program. All members of the legislature participate in school monitoring visits and we make it two times in a year, at the beginning of the year and secondly later in the year. And that has yielded results. You would have seen we've moved from being number last. So an effort, an, a stronger effort uh, from our side as the legislature in that monitoring and that support will go a long way in changing the image of our province. And talking of monitoring and giving support, the un unemployment has been highlighted by a number of protests of young people demanding jobs, instability at local government level. And as we speak now, there are young people from the DA who are picketing outside the Premier's office. I guess it would be important for the Premier also to come up with uh, a decisive or announcement on how he plans to deal with corruption at government, a local government uh, level? Yes, much as protests are our uh, constitutional right, for me, just standing there and shouting and protesting is not going to change anything. 
for me it is it is our collective effort uh, in focusing on job creation that is going to help this province um, much as we can exercise that right of, of protest and no amount of protest is going to change the situation it is collective uh, taking responsibility and acting in a collective way coming up with uh, ideas on and and plans on how we could uh, change the situation uh, it is worrisome i must say that uh, it is young people that get heavily affected by unemployment and as the future of our country we all must be worried about that and therefore we must all be concerned and try and come up with progressive uh, ideas that could help us uh, deal with that and as i'm suggesting uh, up front already our focus on oceans economy it's 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 untapped in so far as i'm concerned Speaker, thank you so much for your time. I know we've got other interviews to attend to, and I must say, you look wonderful. Thank you so much for your time, you. Speaker you. of the Provincial Legislature, Oma Munokolo Kivit, saying that they are expecting the Premier to touch on uh, how they, uh, he plans, uh, or they as the executive plan, to come up with a way forward to produce jobs and tapping into the ocean's uh, economy. And just last week, uh, in, in fact, during the course of this week, in a summit investment summit, it emerged that it's not only the ocean's economy that has not been tapped into in the province, also agriculture uh, has not been tapped into because only 2% in investment comes from agriculture, a worrisome or a concern for a rural province like the Eastern Cape. Well, those are the things that are coming from the provincial legislature and I see right behind me the police are ready to do their parade. People are walking in, making their way to the tent where the Premier will be making his speech and I must tell you, it's fashion glamour design, especially from the executive. We'll keep you up to date. Back to you in studio. Musisiwe Jemsana Mantashe bringing us the latest from the Eastern Cape.